Our Bluetooth OBD2 adapter is the same. If you are looking to buy an OBD2 scanner that will work with your smartphone, you are probably wondering what are the differences between hundreds of options out there. So I have my VPIC here, which is very good budget pick. It costs around $15 and you can use it with free OBD2 app. And then we have this ThinkDiac 2 that costs around $150. Now $150 still isn't that much because those big handheld scan tools can cost even $3,000 but it, it has one of the highest prices in the OBD2 Bluetooth scanners so $150 scanner, $20 scanner Let's take a look what both can do and why the price is different So the first thing that we are using your scanner for is reading default codes Both of them can scan codes from all control units a few years back, scanners like this couldn't read codes from all control units, only from the engine. Now even the cheap OBD2 adapter like this can be paired with car scanner app that can read codes from all control units. But when I read codes outside the engine, I just trust more this thing they have to. Adapter like this reads engine codes very accurately, but when it comes to scanning other control units, it sometimes add in these weird codes. And when I scan it with thing they have, those codes just aren't there. Next you have reading the live data. $20 scanner will read live data from engine control unit. If you use the right app, it can even display those live data as graphs, even for advanced, which is very good for this price range. But when you read the live data with this thing Diac, it can read live data not just from the engine, but also from all other control units that you have in your car, which means possibility to read live data maybe on other 30 control units. Now this Toyota has around 35 control units needs. So this will only scan live data from one, which is the most important, but still you have other 34 control units in which you can read live data, but only with this thing the act to. That can be for example used to verify if your car mileage hasn't been clocked. So if someone didn't roll back the odometer, I have also a video on that. Next you have the bidirectional function. That means ability to command your car components to turn them on and off, mostly to see if they are working, which is a big time saver when you want to know if certain car part is working right or not. Now $20 scanner won't be able to bidirectional tests. On the other hand, the Think the Act 2 can perform bidirectional tests in all control units. Next you have service functions. And service functions are codings like resetting the oil interval, matching new battery, matching new key, adapting new throttle body, and stuff like that. There are OBD2 procedures that you need to use after service tasks. Now if you work on 20 year old car, you won't need them as much, but on the newer cars you need more and more service functions. For example on a modern car, when you want to just change the brake pads, you need two like this to command the electronic brake calipers to open them so you will be able to change those parts. Think the Act 2 can do around 15 service functions depending on the vehicle which is very good number and we pick if you use like Carista app you can maybe do two service functions with it but only the very basic ones. Next we have the ECU coding and that is coding the change to your car like unlock hidden features for example opening the windows from your key fob. This wasn't allowed from factory and I had to use scanner like this to make the necessary coding so my key would open windows. Now ThinkDiac does have ECU coding and with VPIC you can also do some coding but you need to use and pay it up like Carista but the Carista won't work for every car brand so you are limited just to around 7 to 10 car brands. The next few things that I want to talk about is the vehicle coverage. The Think Diac covers more than 10,000 different car models and the VPIC still doesn't have the bad coverage, it works for basic car brands. I tried it on Audi, Toyota, Lexus, Skoda, Seat, Volkswagen and it worked without any problems. But still the Think Diac just offers much more for every car. It also has more, more stable connection because you are connecting to this box which is plugged to OBD2 port by cable. There is cable that is not here right now. Therefore the connection is better. You don't have any problems connecting it with the Bluetooth adapter like this. Sometimes you can have some connection issues, especially if you use multiple OBD2 apps. Sometimes you need to go to app number one, cancel the connection, so you are able to connect it to app number two. The thing there is also faster. It can do a full scan in 
maybe one and a half minutes while the full scan on VPIC can sometimes take like five even more minutes. This will also show you some additional information. Both of them can display the VIN number but Tinkdiac will also tell you the engine code, the car's origin, where it was made and it provides some special software for certain car brands. This is actually, this Tinkdiac 2 is actually made by Launch and you probably heard about Launch. The Launch OBD2 scanners are those big handheld scan tools that can be found in car service and car shops. And what they did with this Tinkdiac 2 is they took their software from those big tablet scan tools and they put it in OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. Which is amazing because you really work with professional software here and you are paying only 150 for the first year and after first year you need to continue paying the subscription of $80 per year. Which a lot of people are not happy about but that is really common practice when it comes to professional scan tools like this. Like this is equivalent of 7 800 big scan tool but since we are not paying for the tablet they could keep the price low so now you understand why there are differences in price between Bluetooth OBD2 scanners and this VPIG is really I didn't pick some crappy scanner it is cheap but it is the best cheap OBD2 adapter like for under $20 I can assure you that you won't find anything better than this so I compared two good adapters but in different price range and now you know why the price is different